Hello, it's Nick and today I want to show you how to create a tab navigation. First, let's create text. Type page. Change text color to deep blue to make it look like a clickable element. Change the font size to 16 pixels, a common font size for body text. And change the text alignment to center and middle. Select the text and click Add Auto Layout. Change the horizontal paddings to 16 pixels and vertical paddings to 8 pixels. Select the frame and choose the Fix Width option. Give our frame a name, Tab. Click Create a Component. We need to create a two variants of this component. Variants will be the states of the component. The first variant will be the hover state. Add the fill to the frame and change its color to light blue. We can use the light blue tones of our blue color. Second variant will be selected state. And for this variant we will need to use a visual indicator that will give a user a clear idea that the element is selected. I will use a rectangle to create an underline. Apply the same blue color to this rectangle and put it in a frame of the selected variant. We can use an absolute positioning for our rectangle to place it exactly where we want to see it. Now we need to create an animated transition between the states. Let's switch to the prototype mode and create a transition between the default and hover state. The transition will be triggered by mouse hover. Instead of using instant change, we will introduce a subtle animated effect. Choose Smart Animate and select Ease Out with 100 milliseconds. We also need to create another transition from the hover state to the selected state. The only difference with the previous transition is that this one will be triggered by the click. Our tab is ready. Now we can create a tab bar using this component. Create three tabs. Give them names Home, Service and Reach. Select all three components and place them side by side. Use Distribute Horizontally option and change the spacing to zero between the tabs. Select all three tabs and turn them into a new component. Give it a name Tab Bar. Each tab has a fixed width and it means that all of them take equal horizontal space. It's time to use Tab Bar. Let's create the test frame. Give it a size of 400 by 400 pixels. Name it Home. It will represent our home page. Drag the tab bar from the assets and put it inside the home frame. Type some text on this page. Change font size for the text to make it larger. And change the state for the first tab called Home from default to selected since it's a home page. Duplicate the home frame and change the name to Service. Change the state for the tab bar elements. Home should be in the default state while Service should be in selected state. Also change the body text to make it relevant to the service page. Create another copy of the page and give it a name Reach. Change the state for the bar elements. Service tab should have the default state, while Reach should have selected state. And change the text copy accordingly. This is by the way my real Twitter handle. Let's change the horizontal spacing between our home, service and reach frames to make it more comfortable to create an interaction between them. And drag them below. Perfect. Let's switch to the prototype mode to create a transition between the pages. Select the home page and the service tab in it. Create a transition to the service page from this tab. When the user clicks on the service tab, they will navigate to the service page. Let's introduce a subtle animated effect. Smart Animate is out with 50 milliseconds timing. Ok, we need to follow the same approach for the reach tab. Select it and create a transition to the reach page. All animation properties stay the same. Now we need to complete the same operation for the tabs on the service page. Select Home tab and create a transition to the home page. Select Reach tab and create a transition to the reach page. And finally, for the reach page, we need to select Home tab and create a transition to the home page. And the service tab and create a transition to the service page. Time to test our design. Select the first frame, Home and click Preview. The hover effect looks good. Let's click the service. Now we see the service page. Let me know what you think about this top bar design in the comments. Thank you.